Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 17th of July to the 21st of July 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to have a look at a number of pairs and we're going to look at the key levels of support and resistance in those pairs, as well as outlining some targets that we're looking for for the coming week or weeks ahead. So I hope you all had a great weekend and a fantastic week last week. In the ETI live room, we put 5% on the ETI fund last week, as well as our traders in the room. And now please bear in mind that we did this by risking small amounts. Very often you'll find traders risking 1%, 2%, even 3, 4, 5% uh, per trade. Now this is far, far, far too much to be risking and you will not be able to stay in the game long term if you're risking these kind of percentages on each trade. In fact, at ETI we recommend to all our traders that you trade 0.5% per trade. So if you look at that in relation to the percentages made last week, you can see that we actually made a 10 to 1 return on investment of all trades taken last week. And you want to do that, like I say, not by trading large amounts per trade, but by getting a really good risk to reward ratio by taking your entries on the lower time frames. Now, if you want to learn how to do that and you want to learn how to profit from the lower time frames and entries on the lower time frames to give you the best risk to reward ratios, why not check out our website and see how we can get you trading and making money in a similar way. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, last week we were sitting up in this area here and we said we were looking for a sell off in the US dollar index and we highlighted the areas of support at 12.104 and also at the 12.080 but we did have an overall target set down here at the 12.030 level. Now as you can see it came down at the end of the last week and it almost touched it, I mean it's at this area. So what we're expecting now is a potential pullback and a bounce from this area here in the US dollar index and a potential pullback up towards the 12080 area, which was a previous area of support broken. And now we're going to be looking to see if this acts as resistant. So we go into next week with a bearish bias on the US dollar index as it is trending to the downside. But we are aware that we could have a correction first. We do have highlighted to the downside the next target of the 11938 area. So if we get a pullback to the 12080 area, we're going to look to initiate shorts or maybe longs in, say, the euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar, etc., etc. And if we get a break below the 12030 area, which is the target we had highlighted last week, we're going to again look to take shorts in the US dollar index or longs in currencies such as the pound, US dollar to the upside, euro, US dollar to the upside, etc. But we're looking for a downside target now at the 11938 as the next key area of support on the US dollar index. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week we had a neutral bias on oil as it was between the two key areas of support and resistance at the $45 a barrel and the 43.752. We said if it breaks above that, we're going to be looking up towards the $47 a barrel, and you can see it pretty much made that now last week. However, because we are still in a range and the oil is ranging, we are prepared to play this either way. So we expect price to trade into the $47 a barrel area next week. Now, if we start to see some bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking back down towards the $45 a barrel mark. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to look for some accumulation in this area and some bullish formations. And if we get those bullish formations above the $47 a barrel mark, we're going to be looking up towards the 48.581 target on oil as the next key area of resistance. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now Euro US dollar broke the downward sloping trend line late last week. What we're now looking for in Euro US dollar is a pullback. And this pullback may be in line with a pullback in the US dollar index. And we're looking for a retest of the broken downward sloping trend line and possibly even a test of the 1.14 psychological area here. And if we get down into this area and we get a pullback in the euro us dollar we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking for two targets to the upside the first target we're going to be looking for is the 1.15270 target and then beyond that we're going to be looking up towards the 1.16163 target on the euro us dollar so if we've got a pullback and we get those bullish formations we'll be looking to hit those two targets on the way up next week and possibly even the week after So the next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now pound US dollar is continuing the bull flag that it made over here. 
and we're looking for this to continue to the upside as we're looking for US dollar weakness next week. Now, we did break above the key area of resistance at the 1.30472. So what we're looking for now is some accumulation, some bullish formations and a pullback in this area here. And if we get a pullback in those bullish formations, we're going to be looking first to the target of the 1.31510 as the next key area of resistance to the upside. But if we get a breakthrough here, we are looking to continue to the upside and we have a target higher up at the 1.3300 psychological area. So these are the two targets we're looking for to the upside in the pound US dollar. I did work to see a little pullback and a retest of the 1.30472. And then if we get the bullish formations from this area, we can look for the two targets, the 1.31510 and the 1.3300 psychological area up here. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. Now, last week we highlighted the 0.9700 area as the key area of resistance on this pair. And we said we wanted to see the pair come and test this area over here. And then we were going to look for shorts on this pair. Now, last week we did get a test of this area. And as you can see, we actually sold off fairly heavily on Friday last week. So what we're now looking to do is we're going to look for some pullbacks in this pair. And we're going to be looking to initiate shorts all the way down to the 0.9500 target down here. So very straightforward on the US dollar franc. We've traded into the resistance area now. So it's just a case of looking for the bearish formations on this pair in the lower time frames and initiating shorts down to the 0.500 target. So the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie US dollar is clearly in an uptrend and it broke through the target we had highlighted last week at the 0.77035 area. So now what we're looking for is a pullback and we're looking to continue this move to the upside. And we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area somewhere, possibly even a pullback and a retest of the 0.77540 area of support and resistance over here. Broke through as resistance, now looking to come back and test the support. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns that we're looking for in the Aussie US dollar on the lower time frames, we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the 0.7900 target and a continuation of the uptrend in the Aussie US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week we had highlighted the 0.737 area as a target on New Zealand US dollar. As you can see, it came up into this area, but it didn't quite tag it. These are areas. After all, these are not all specific levels. So we may find that this has already been fulfilled. Now, what we're looking for in the New Zealand US dollar this coming week is a continuation of this move to the upside at the, and a target of the 0.74500 area. However, we do still have the 0.73756 as a key area of resistance and price is still under this resistance area. So we could see a pullback down towards the 0.7260 area roughly and a retest of this support level here. Now, this may coincide with a pullback in the US dollar index that we were talking about earlier. And if we get a pullback to this area over here, we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to look to initiate longs on this pair, first of all, up to the resistance area of the 0.73756 and a double top. And then we want to see this price trade through this resistance area and continue up towards the target we have highlighted here at the 0.74500 as the next key area of resistance to the upside after we get through this resistance area on the New Zealand US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now we took a really nice trade last week short on the US dollar CAD. In fact, we captured pretty much all of this move over here in the live room. But what we're looking for this week is a continuation of this downtrend and a move to the downside. Now, if we get a pullback into this area, we're going to look to initiate shorts on this pair and we're going to be looking for a target to the downside of the 1.24650 as the next key area of support on this pair. Now, just bear in mind, we may not get a pullback to the downward sloping trend line and the 1.28 psychological level. This may be a little bit ambitious in terms of a pullback. So if we get a small pullback, possibly even to the 1.27 psychological area, as long as we start seeing those bearish formations and patterns forming on the lower time frames, we're going to look to initiate shorts down to the next key area of support of 1.24650 in the US dollar CAD. Now, the next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Now, Euro Pound failed to stay above the 0.88615 area of resistance over here, and it sold off and capitulated quite hard, as you can see, last week. Now, what we're going to be looking for this week is a pullback, 
possibly even a pullback and a retest of the uh, failed uh, resistance level at 0.88615. But again, like we said in the US dollar CAD, this may be a bit of an ambitious pullback. So if we get a pullback, say, to 0.8800 psychological area over here, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this pair on the lower time frames and we're going to be looking to initiate shorts on the euro pound either from the retest of the resistance area at 0.88615 or possibly even just from this area if we get a more shallow pullback as long as we get those bearish formations and patterns forming on the lower time frames we'll be looking at initiating shorts and we're going to be looking to take shorts down towards the target of the 0.86657 which is the next key area of support on this pair The next pair we're going to be looking at is pound yen. Now pound yen broke below and failed at the 1 uh, 146.068, sorry, area of support over here. We actually got a break back above this area, this support area. And as you can see, once we got a break below as support, failed, pulled back up, broke the resistance, and then came back, tested as support over here late last week. Now on that retest of the support level, we can see price bounce to the upside. And now this is going to be a good chance to look for bullish formations and patterns to appear in the pound yen. And we're going to be looking up towards the target of 14984, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. So bear in mind, we may get another little pullback and possibly even a retest of the broken resistance area at 146.068. So we had it broken as support, pulled back as resistance, failed as resistance, came back to support and now pushed higher. So if we get a retest of this support and resistance area here, we're going to be looking to initiate longs from this area here. Or if we just get a more shallow pullback into this area, we're still going to be looking to initiate longs as long as we get those bullish formations and patterns on the lower time frames. And just to confirm, we are going to be looking to take those longs up towards the 149.840 target on this pair, which is the next key area of resistance. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Oz. Now, Euro Oz broke down below this key area of support at the 1.48141 area last week. We haven't had any pullbacks in this pair, and as you can see, it's just moving down, 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 down. So what we want to see next week is a pullback in this pair. And we're going to be looking for a pullback either close to the 1.48141 area of support over here, which failed, and a retest of this as resistance. Or if we don't get a pullback all the way to that level, we're still going to look to initiate shorts if we get a more shallow pullback, possibly, say, just above the 1.4700 area. And we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form in the lower time frames. And we're going to look to initiate shorts down to a target of 1.44700, which is the next key area of support on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Frank. Now, Aussie Frank is clearly in an uptrend here and it's making higher highs. We're now looking for a pullback next week in the Aussie franc, possibly even a pullback and a retest of the broken resistance area here at the 0.74768. So now this resistance area has been broken, we're going to look for a possible retest of support. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in the lower time frames in order to initiate longs on this pair. And we're going to be looking up towards the 0.7600 psychological area, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. Now, similarly, to what we've talked about before. If we don't get a pullback all the way down to this level, we will still look to initiate longs if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns forming, say on a pullback and a retest of the 0 0.7500 psychological area. So that is it from me this week, guys. As always, if you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you'll have a very profitable week next week. Take care and trade safely.